All right, so it says uh, for the equilibrium of nitrogen and hydrogen to form ammonia, and there it is, uh, what is the delta H for the reaction, standard conditions, given that the delta H of formation for ammonia is this at 25 degrees? Okay, so um, we want to find the delta H for the reaction, and we're doing it from the delta H of formation for really each of these, but we know the delta H of formation for the elements because it's always zero for the elements in their natural states. Okay, so nitrogen in its natural state, it's a gas to 25 degrees, um, so its delta H of formation will be zero, likewise for hydrogen. So really, um, our products minus reactants becomes just the products because our reactants will be zero. Okay, so the, uh, the delta HF for ammonia is negative 45.9. So the uh, delta H for the reaction is going to be the products, but that is 2 moles uh, times that. So 2 moles times my negative 45.9 kilojoules per mole and um, then what I get here is negative 91.8 okay and the units uh, my moles cancel and I get kilojoules Okay, um, so that is the uh, the uh, heat of for, uh, of reaction for this particular reaction, and what we could say is it's this many um, kilojoules, not per mole of the substance, but per mole of this reaction. Okay, so. Um, that that way is just saying this reaction gives off that many uh, kilojoules. So uh, you know it's just per mole of that reaction is kind of uh, just referencing this particular reaction. All right. So moving on, what is the sign of the change in entropy for this reaction? Okay. So the change in entropy. Um, is we'll, we'll recognize the sign based on the number of molecules. Uh, you'll remember that uh, the entropy is proportional to the number of states, okay? Um, so the number of states will be greater when you have more molecules, okay? You can distribute the energy over more molecules as opposed to fewer molecules, okay? So here we're gonna have higher entropy to lower entropy, so we're decreasing, so the change in entropy will be less than zero or negative, okay? So what is the value of the change in entropy for this reaction? So now we know it's sine, let's find the actual value, okay? Given the following information. So here we have the uh, absolute entropies uh, as standard conditions for each of our species here. So we find it in just the same way we did, um, except the reactants are not uh, zero. Okay, so the delta S uh, for this reaction is the sum of the products, which is two ammonia molecules. So we'll have two moles, uh, oh and by the way I whoop, I used the wrong uh, the units here, this is joules per mole kelvin. Okay, so here I have two moles of ammonia and its entropy is 192.77 joules per mole kelvin. Okay, and um, 
that's my products minus the sum of the reactants, okay? So one nitrogen and three hydrogen. My nitrogen is 191.56, and I have one mole of the nitrogen at 191.56 um, joules per mole Kelvin. And, um, and I'll go ahead and put this in brackets here because that'll be the, it's the sum of the reactants when I'm subtracting the sum of the reactants. Um, and then I have my three moles of hydrogen. Okay, and hydrogen is 130.7 joules per mole Kelvin. All right. So now, um, if I calculate this out, what I end up with is um, I've got two. Let's see if I can get this on here. Um, two times one ninety-seven point, uh, rather one ninety-two point seven seven um, minus. 191.56 plus 3 times 130.7. Okay, so what I end up with is negative 198.12. Okay, so here negative 198.12. The units. Um, if I look at this here, I have joules per mole Kelvin, but my moles cancel. Okay, so this will be joules uh, per Kelvin. And just like before, I could, uh, could say that's per mole of uh, the reaction. Okay, so... Um, just tying it back to this specific reaction where I'm producing two moles of ammonia. Okay, so now we have the delta H for the reaction. We have the delta S for the reaction. So let's find the uh, delta G for the reaction. And I'm actually going to skip the uh, uh, this question and move down to here and then we'll come back to that all right so calculate the change in free energy that's the delta g for this reaction okay um, assuming that it uh, goes to completion and i just say that because it's an equilibrium going both ways so we're just going to look at it for now as though it goes completely uh, to producing the ammonia. Okay, so delta G we know is equal to the delta H um, for the reaction minus T delta S for the reaction. Okay, so um, those are the two that I just calculated. I have my temperature, so let's go ahead and put those in. Delta H for this reaction is negative 91.8 kilojoules per mole of the reaction. Negative 91.8 mole of reaction minus the temperature, which is 298 Kelvin. Okay, that's our 20... Uh, 25 degrees. If we take that 25 degrees, add 273, you get 298 uh, Kelvin. Okay, so that's where that comes from. Then we have the delta S. All right, delta S we calculated for this reaction, negative 198.12 uh, joules per Kelvin times uh, the mole of reaction. All right. 
So you'll notice here that my Kelvin will cancel and I'll have, uh, well, I have kilojoules minus joules per mole. Okay, so I need to fix that so that I can subtract those. Those have to be the same units. So I need to multiply this um, by a conversion factor where one kilojoule equals a thousand joules. All right, so now I'll have kilojoules per mole of reaction. That's the same as I have here, so I can now uh, subtract those. And when I